thank you for watching. <clears throat> Sometimes secular entertainment makes me think of different gospel principles. I was in the movie theaters watching Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, and I thought of something. <laughs> if only these movie villains would learn something from the gospel of Jesus Christ. They would not do some of the things they do in these movies. Here's specifics. Uh, if you didn't watch the movie yet, uh, pause now or stop watching and wait until you've watched the movie. There will be spoilers. But I waited until the movie was out of theater so people probably had a chance to watch it already. So Kingpin wanted his family back. That's why he was trying to create the machine that ended up creating the, the, the rip in the gap in space and time that got all the spider men from different spider verses to come together because he was hoping he would get his wife and his son from one of those other universes. But Kingpin didn't need to do all that because Jesus Christ sacrificed himself for us so we will all be resurrected. And if we will obey Jesus Christ's gospel and do what he has told us to do through his prophets, which includes proper baptism and worshiping him in the temples and getting sealed together as families in the temples, which includes sealing for the dead, then Kingpin could have his family with him forever after the resurrection if he would have just gotten baptized instead of trying to create that big machine. Well, he should have not been trying to kill Spider-Man in the first place, too. Another movie where somebody learning from the gospel could have prevented him from doing bad stuff. Big Hero 6. And wasn't uh, there's a YouTube channel called uh, Couch Tomato that does comparisons, 24 reasons why this movie and that movie are the same. And uh, they they made a comparison between one of the X-Men movies and Big Hero 6. Maybe the same things could be said about that X-Men movie, but I haven't seen that X-Men movie. In Big Hero 6, the villain of the movie um, was mad at somebody who was the, the CEO of a company that did an experiment that went wrong and his daughter, the villain's daughter, he thought was dead from the experiment. She was stuck in another dimension, actually. But he should not have done what he did because he should have forgiven. One beautiful teaching of the gospel is forgiveness. And if you forgive somebody, you can be at peace and not need to become a supervillain. And you should have thought about the resurrection. If you have a loved one who dies in a bizarre science experiment gone wrong, don't be mad at the CEO and become a real villain and try to kill him. Think about the resurrection. Everybody will be resurrected because Jesus Christ died and was resurrected. And so resurrection is a free gift to everybody. The good and the bad, we're all going to be resurrected. So that family member of yours who died in a bizarre science experiment, they will be resurrected. Other movie where somebody would have just followed the gospel, they would not have been a supervillain, is The Incredibles. Buddy, a.k.a. Syndrome, the villain in The Incredibles, decides to be a villain because uh, Mr. Incredible works alone and did not want him helping. Well, Buddy should have forgiven him for not wanting the help and just decided to do good with his life. Nothing would have prevented Buddy from being a superhero when he became an adult. 
but instead he chose to be a supervillain. Let's see. And those are my thoughts about times when secular movies made me think of the gospel. And this list is when the bad guys would not have been bad guys if they would have just learned something from the gospel of Jesus Christ. Have a good day.